plain good morning good afternoon to everyone watching wherever you are i want to say thank you for joining us on KM TV on what does the bible say i want to use this time to say you are highly highly welcome and i also want to encourage you as you have come you can also invite your families friends and loved ones to be part of today's edition on what does the bible says firstly let us you know, gave our thanks and appreciation out to KMTV for giving us the opportunity. KMTV is not just in, in into the physical, they as well were into what the spiritual that is. They provide, they also provide what spiritual information for our soul as well. So we need to applaud them for that. So on what does the Bible say? That series of, you know, topics, series of discussions that we're going to be having. Because the, the main purpose of, of, of this program is, is to erase those, you know, misinterpretations or misconceptions or whatever perception that, that we have had concerning the scriptures. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 22 verse 29, he said, Ye do earth not knowing the scriptures, not the power they possess. So there are a series of things because we don't know that many of us, you know, thinking that we know and we don't know. So we're going to give you the right interpretation right from the Bible, what God says concerning this, not what the word says, not what someone else says, you know, try to turn the scriptures around, trying to make it fit within whatever circumstances negatively that is not according to the word of God. So we're going to be providing what the maximum and what the right God on what does the Bible says. So today on editions, we, we, we're talking about, remember we're still doing relationship, right? And I told you on relationship, we're gonna be doing, last week we, 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 we talk about what we discussed, the, the types of wives, husband, you know, we shouldn't just abuse our singleness. It's, it's not a curse to be single with, with our singleness. We, we get to understand, right? We make ourselves, we prepare ourselves. That series of things we discussed on last week's episode. And today I'm having with me my guest, though he's 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 coming, he, he will soon join us, but our our guest for today is no other person but Dr. Reverend Alexander Red of Gracious Hope Fellowship. He's not just what a doctor, he's a pastor. So he's just gonna be giving us, you know. Because we, we're not just, you know, talking about the spiritual, okay? Because if we try to say, oh, spiritual, because there are a lot of people. So we want you to know the dangers. We're talking about why is sex prohibited before marriage? So if we turn in, because if we just say the Bible, the Bible, that a lot of people say, oh, that's just, you know, religion, that's just doctrine. But you have to know the dangers of it from the physical as well, so that you can know exactly the physical is also what backing up what the claim of the Bible. So it's going to be interesting. OK, I don't want you missing. I don't want you switching away. I want you to stay. So and I also want to, you know, want to encourage you, invite someone, invite your family, friends, loved ones to be part of today's edition. You can share as, you know, whatever group that you are part of, make sure you share Stay. There are a lot of things we're going to be discussing. Okay, so I don't want you missing it. So let us pray quickly by inviting the presence of the Holy Spirit as we discuss. Then our guests can join us. So let us pray quickly. Heavenly Father, we give you praise. We say thank you because this is the day that you God have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for your presence. We thank you because you have gathered us again into your presence. Father, give us the right interpretation of your word. He raised everything, every wrong understanding that we have had or that we are having concerning your word, O oh God. Father, by your word today, we pray in the name of Jesus that souls will be saved, that lives will be transformed in the name of Jesus, that relationship will be built on the right principles of scriptures and not the word of God. Father, we say thank you. We gave you praise in Jesus mighty name so we're talking about why is it because a lot of people why is it that what sex is what prohibited why should sex be prohibited a lot of people say but you cannot just marry someone without you know knowing the person you have to test the person you have to know whether the person is is fertile whether the person is active 
and and you know there are so many things all of those things they, they are all what tricks okay the devil is using everything in other words to capture us so we shouldn't give him what the right to do so so let's see what sex is we, we, we starting with the spiritual then we go deep in what into the physical it says what Sex, what is a sexual energy that goes beyond physical sensation, pleasure, or what genital organs? It said there are also what a deep spiritual aspect of sex. That's why, and that's one thing lots of us don't know. We don't know the spirituality of sex. We just feel it's it's, it's just pleasure. It's just something to have fun. That's why you know someone would, would would just get into a relationship. You know, lie to someone, deceive them just to sleep with them. That's that's why you know that a lot of people prostitutes are out there selling themselves because there are a lot of us. The Bible says, "My people are are dying or they are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they don't know." Because if we get to understand the deep spirituality of what sex actually is, we won't, you know, be rushing into it. We 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 wanna see the physical. It says what well, that also what well, a deep spiritual aspect of sex is when well, when two bodies engage in sex, their souls are also what well, they are united. Let's see the book of Genesis chapter two, verse twenty-four to twenty-five. The Bible says, "Therefore shall a man." What leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be what one flesh. That one flesh is in the act of what of love making. So the Bible said, What they shall be that's why he said, A man shall leave his father and shall cleave unto his wife. He didn't say what a girlfriend or, or whatever, but what his wife. And not a male and a male and a female and a female. No, a man to his wife. And they shall become what? One flesh. That is what the soul what unites together. Okay, it says, and, and they were both naked, and the man and his wife were not ashamed. It says, well, when the soul united, why the soul united? Because it is God who created sex. Sex wasn't created by the world, or not man, not the devil, but God himself. Sex is wonderful blessing given to us by God. That what that serves to, 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 to express what intimacy to each other, to bring oneness, faithfulness, purity. The biblical main purpose of sex is in pleasure. Okay. Sex also is to make you holy. Ah, lots of people don't know that. It's to make you holy. So you cannot go about abusing it. Sex what is a wonderful blessing given to us by God that serves to express what intimacy between the husband and what and the wife. So bring oneness. And they both shall what? Become what? One flesh, faithfulness, purity. They become main purpose of sex, aging, pleasure, reproduction, etc. But what? Unification for two to be one flesh. To become what? One flesh. Let's see the book of Mark chapter 10 verse 8. I think we're going to take our time to really deal with this. We, we, we're we not going to rush. If, even if we don't, you know, consume everything today, get hold of everything today, next Sunday we continue. So, because... God really wants us to understand because that's one area that the enemy, the devil, is really, really, really what winning, lying to people, deceiving them. And then verse 28 says what? Mark 10, verse 8. And then it reads, it says, what? And death and this one shall be one flesh, so that they are one what? So then they are no more two, meaning they are no more two, but what? But one flesh. And we also have that word in Matthew chapter 19, verse 5 to 6. In the book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4 says, Well, marriage is more honorable when what? When the bed is not defunct. And the Bible makes us understand in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 3 to 4. It says, What? The body of a man belongs to what? To the woman, and the body of the woman belongs to the man. Not husband and wife. Not what? No one has the right to give it to another. So the only person that we have the right to give our body to is our husband or is our wife. Sex is in merely natural appetite that we satisfy as we please. There are a lot of people. 
people just feel that just fun. So someone will just spend, you know, their money, go out, you know, have time. Once they are in the feelings, they go out, they pay, or probably they call over, call someone over, and then they just sleep. You, you, the whole lot you just wasted right there. It's very, very dangerous. So you see, it's it's not just what a few minutes pleasure as you see it to be. It's not merely natural appetite that satisfies as we please, but what a good gift from God that is to be used to please Him. But a good gift that is to be used to what? To be used and only has what? The mandate. Sex isn't merely an expression what, of affection. That a lot of people say, we all remember the story of, of the stepbrother of Absalom. So Absalom says, well, the Bible says he was so in love. Okay, but the moment he slept with her, what he did, he lost what feeling for her. So sometimes, let me tell you this, sex, that a lot of people, sex doesn't keep a relationship, you know, so we shouldn't be deceived. That's why you find out a lot of people say, oh, he slept with me, he only wanted to know me, and then he abandoned me, and this is how, and blah, 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 because we wasn't wise enough to know that sex doesn't keep a relationship, a relationship that is not what, wedded or that is not into marriage, that relationship cannot be kept, meaning because you have sex with someone. Definitely you will be dumb. It's, a, it's not what a natural appetite. Sex is not merely an expression of affection or of a love. It's about an expression and displays of covenant love. Rooted in Christ. Sex isn't merely what a means of what of fulfillment, but an opportunity to give ourselves to our spouse in love and to God. So sometimes when we come together with our spouse, we're not only doing it for ourselves, we are doing it unto God. And the Bible says, whatsoever we do, we should do it unto the glory of God. And God has united us together. God has called us together into his covenant. So what we do, we express what? The covenant that God has what? Put between us or put within us or put us together that's what we do so when we unite it's not only on to ourselves that's why god don't want us going outside especially when you are married and then you have your another affair when we start to discuss marriage then we will come to that so what it's an opportunity to give what ourselves to what our spouse in love and to god in times giving <laughs> a lot of people say, oh, and this and that and blah, blah, blah. I, you know, I want to thank God so much for, for, for the revelation giving because that many of us don't know. To give ourselves in love and to go what in also in thanksgiving. To tell you that what sex is purely what spiritual. Its ultimate purpose to bring glory to God. The main purpose of sex is to work, is to bring glory to God. Until we understand why God created sex, we won't make sense of his commandment regarding what sexual purity. We will continue to abuse it because we don't know we feel that just to satisfy us or we must know the person mm -hmm. and that's it. But it's worth more than that. It's beyond what our natural eyes would just see. It's a word for his command or his commandment always what relate to work to us what his purpose is. Sex is both what? So we're coming on to the physical. From the physical aspect, this is my own personal word, definition. Okay? And it says what? Sex is both male and female coming together in one flesh and soul. Both souls uniting in togetherness. Based on revelation from God, this is what I gather. On myself so that we can know that this word is wrong and this is what it says many of us the reason why we feel that what the commandments of God were the Bible says in the book of first John chapter 5 verse 3 it says what the commandment of God is not to work it's not grievous it's, it's not a punishment unto us for every commandment that God gives is for our own purpose it's for our own benefits it's for our own work God will never mislead us that's, that's one thing we should get to understand. We believe our parents would always mean well for us. It's the same way we should feel 
that God always wants what the best for us. We shouldn't just sit there and say, oh, this is old fashioned. Even in those days, in cultures in other countries like India and other countries, sex was prohibited before marriage in 1960. And at that time, especially in India, and even up to this day, there are many people in India who still don't believe there is a God. They believe in all that funny, funny gods and stuff like that. So if such people can understand the spirituality of sex, knowing fully that they are not believers, they are not Christian, they don't even know if God exists. But yet instead they understood how deep sex is, they were, they tried to avoid it. So we should be very, very careful. Many of us feel the commandments of God are to punish us. But many don't know that God is actually protecting us from the dangers of the world. God doesn't set up rules just to make things difficult for us or keep us from having or enjoying our pleasures. Now, the world doesn't have pleasure. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 16, verse 11, he says in his word that we're in the presence of God, there are fullness of joy, and there are what? Pleasures forevermore. That's what the Bible says. They are what? Pleasures forevermore. So the pleasures of God does not cease. The only pleasure that ceases is the pleasures of the world. So a lot of people feel that's the best way. You're destroying yourself and you think that you are enjoying? No. So if you want to enjoy, then you need to be in Christ. Mm -hmm. God doesn't set up rules just to make things difficult for us or to keep us from what? Enjoying good pleasures. God only prohibits things that we learn work. That Things that will harm us or harm our relationship with him and also what? Our fellow men. So now we 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 come into the world. We come into the world. So I I, I pray and hope that we all understand. We just get because I want I want us to, to balance the equation, right? One from the world, because a lot of people, sex is one thing we cannot avoid. Even just avat or soap. You find out that the person has to display some level of, you know, sensation and stuff like that. Just to what? To be able to advertise. Because the devil has, has made it so, so common that a lot of people feel that it's normal. And one thing we should get to understand for the fact that what a lie has stayed for decades or even up to a centuries, it still doesn't make it what a truth. For a fact, a lie is accepted by many people, doesn't still make it to be true. A lie is a lie and a truth is a truth. No matter how long it stays, no matter how long it, it, it has been covered up or whatever. So a lot of people feel that, oh, they are old-fashioned and stuff. It doesn't work in our days. It does work in our days. And if only we made up our mind and understand why that God is preventing us out of this, we will get to understand how what? The, the level that God is taking us and our glorious destiny in Christ Jesus. Life is not all about here on earth. Life, mostly, we are here preparing ourselves for heaven. So if we cannot control ourselves here on earth, then we are not fit to be in heaven. So let's see why sex is prohibited from the raw part perception, okay? Premarital sex. That's how the word called it, right? It says, define what are sexual activities conducted out of marriage. It's the same thing. It was generally considered what a taboo in almost all cultures in the world before, not even after, but before 1960. But it has since then become what generally more acceptable, especially in Western societies. The rational question one would ask is, why is it not acceptable? What? Why is it it was is acceptable in the past and now it's no more what acceptable because that a lot of people have glued to it. And the funny thing is that because of, of, of this notion of proof to me you love me, that a lot of people, and because of that, that, that a lot of that other people out there, the, the single moments and stuff like that. There are the, probably some came out of it out of you know marriage that did not work on, but Let's say 95% came out of such relationship of proofing. That's what we found out our young girls, our babies. When I was in Badlandsville, before I left, I have like three, yes, three, you know, girls. They were about like 15, 16. They were like my play daughters. And then all three of them got pregnant. 
because it's something that a lot of people, parents do, has a great role to play. Because if our parents understand, you're not just telling them to prevent it, for, you know, because they are not prepared, but you are telling them to prevent it because it's not good for their soul. It's not good for them. Also, what less to what the dangers, the physical dangers that they will have. Also, less what the spiritual dangers. They unite their soul, and also bringing an innocent, innocent child into the world that you never plan of bringing. They just came like that out of your own selfishness and you know foolish pleasures, and then you allow them to come into the world just for them to want to suffer. Because you find out the father will be fired with some, some don't even have to support. They won't even support the child. You have to go struggling. So in order to save yourself, that's one thing. That's one thing. Is it today due to advances in technology and its impact on the quality of life, addressing the health and its influencing factor has become more important? Also, providing health for the society is considered as one of the main issues in any country. Sexual behavior work in you what are characterized as one of the main health priorities of a society because of the high what, prevalence of human and the what the HIV, a lot of people. And in order for the devil to encourage you, right, he come up with what? A, a family mm -hmm. planning in order for you to prevent yourself. What's that? Sometimes it, it pains me to see parents carrying their children. Like, probably 10 years, 12 years to go what? And give them family planning. You, you, you telling them, yes, go ahead. It's about them, that spiritual life as well. You should be more concerned about your spiritual life. You should be more concerned about your spiritual life, your relationship with God. The Bible says there is a way that seems right unto a man, but at the end of it, there are destructions. For the fact that you are prospering it or others are getting married out of it, does it still make it to be right? It doesn't still make it that God is actually what, in favor of what you're doing. A lot of people say, oh, you're judging, and then you're a sinner and stuff like that. Because sometimes mm -hmm. when you come up to say what God is saying, People try to say all manner of things. There are a lot of sicknesses there. We have what? HIV and AIDS. We have STS. We have what? Hepatitis B. We have unwanted pregnancies. We have so many things. It said based on different research study is what estimated about what? 50% of what? The 35. This, uh, what? About a part particular country. Million population of those who are infected with HIV and is got infected before the age of what 25, and most of them were got it were true what sexual intercourse. Is there were 500,000 young people, mostly young women, are infected with what with SDR, excluding AIDS? 500,000 young people, mostly young women, what they are being tested just for what STR. And among these infections, hepatitis B, what? Genital herbs and genital warts are not what? Curable. So you see the kind of damage you cause for yourself? A lot of people say, oh, but that's why they have condom and stuff like that. We will get to that. Condom does not protect 100%. That tells you only God that protects you 100%. The Bible says what? He that built a house without God, he built it in vain. Psalm 127. He said, the watchman that watched over the city, the watch in vain. So if you feel that you can protect your life, you're protecting yourself for nothing. Because you are not, you cannot protect yourself like the way God do. The world cannot protect you like the way the word of God do. Is it such what? And then we have the STS, we have gonorrhea, we have some of the names self is 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 so, you know, we have Kamadia. I wish Reverend was here, you know, at least he can get more highlights on them. But these are all sicknesses among things, okay? Not adults. Among things and young adults is what is greater. Besides that, what unwanted pregnancies. Which are caused due to premature and unprotected sexual contact in teenagers, youth will bring what? And that unwanted pregnancies have led to what abortions. 
Now people are pleading that what? They should legalize abortion. They should legalize killing. You, this is what you went for, right? You cannot go ahead planting pineapple and then you want to root mango. It's not possible. Whatever you reap, that's what you sow. Because that's the outcome. Okay, that's 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 one of the fruits of, of, of sexual contact. It's what? It's production. It's to bring forth what children. So if you are going into it, there is no point. Since you are going there, that shows that you want to have a child. So why is it that you have the child, you have the result, and then you want to what? Take it out. A lot of people kill themselves when they heard that they have such sicknesses and diseases. Some can not be killed. So I just I just want us to really get the concept. That's what the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, chapter 3, verse 16 to that of 19. And then when he said that while well, every other sin a man does is outside the body, but sexual are you getting me? He said what sexual intercourse what is within the body. And what it becomes what dangerous for you because that's where you contact all of these sicknesses and diseases. The devil is very crafty. The devil is not going to tell you what you are doing is wrong. He will tell you it is right. He will never tell you wrong is wrong. He will tell you wrong is right. Because he, he, he wants to destroy you. So you see all of those sickness. And there are more will even what? Come out. Just to what? It almost like all of those things. People tell us. People say this was smokers are reliable to die young. But people are still smoking. It will even bring what death to such mothers in the acts of abortions. We have lost what I lost a friend when, when I was in, was it in two thousand nine? Yes, when I was living in Abbey I lost someone that died. A friend of mine was very close. She went to work, go ahead to do abortion, and then she died. And then they, they gave her those harmful substances. I think blue, and then according to Ramos, because it said that's what she took. She started to smoke. They didn't even, her, her mother was so ashamed. There was nothing like funeral for her. They just dig the hole and bury her the same day because she was dying. She didn't tell anyone. The, the blue, I think blue and, and, and the glass, they break the glass and then put it there and then she died. She could have saved her life. The Bible said, don't be foolish and die before your time. That's the right thing. So although sexual behavior in teenagers and youth is mostly due to the effects of what sexual what harmonies, the rules of what psychological factors such as media, friends, and peer. A lot of people are into it because of what social media. Sometimes you go, you see things together, celebrating, you know, relationship anniversary. <laughs> it's it's crazy. It it sounds funny or it looks or it appears funny but it's serious because these are things that were destroying our society today okay it's so other sexual behavior in thing asia is you is mostly due to the effect of what sexual work happens okay i'm not going to tell you that probably at certain time you you don't feel because the devil what works that's what you have to keep your mind. The Bible says, don't be idle. And I don't mind what is the devil worship. That's what Jesus said. Whosoever that thinks or looks at a woman with lust in his heart, he has committed what? Adultery already. He has committed what? Sexual sin already. Because what? He has programmed his mind. So that's why we should let our mind, he said what in the book of Colossians chapter 2, he says, let our minds be set on things above and not things on the earth. It says what? Although sexual behavior in teenagers, youth is mostly due, we, we, we've heard that. Friends, a lot of people, people are there. Social media makes it very, very easy. You find what? And they're still wearing their uniform. They will go ahead and post their boyfriend and stuff like that. And parents are watching. Parents are watching all of those things. And yet still they are keeping quiet. People want their children to be exposed. It's not helping. Because they grow up to what? To the woman or to women's stage. And the Bible says what? When the foundations 
of the righteous are destroyed. What will the righteous do? It has to do with what foundation? So we have to understand, even the world is against it. They are telling you all of those things work. They are not worth saved. They are not good. So there is no point of you having it. You cannot go on with having what sexual intercourse when you are not married. Don't be deceived. Prove to me you love me. I have to know. We all know realities of, of the world today. Every relationship today, the marriage, and some prosper out of it. Yes, there are other people who don't know that people, what you are hearing now, there are people who are not hearing it or who have not, you know, hear it before. So imagine the, 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 the goal were the extra map. A lot of people, there are people who feel that what? I, there was one time a girl, she and I are friends on Facebook, so. And then she came to me, she said, I think her brother or stuff like that was leaving for America. And then she came to me, oh, he's looking for someone that is serious, that is God-fearing. That's the part I don't really like. Because they will tell you that, you know, the, the need of God-fearing someone. God-fearing is when you fear God, you, you, you fear him. In other words, you obey. That's what the Bible says. If you love me, if you fear me, you will do what I say. You cannot say you thirst and, and fear someone and then there is no regard. There are a lot of people who say they respect people, but yet still, they will call you probably, they will have a title to your name, or auntie, grandpa, ma'am, sir, and then they insult you. So, and then you say, oh, and, and then I've been like watching you, and then I've been looking at you and stuff. So, I want you to, you know, get connected to him. So, I said, okay. She said, but, you know, you have to use, you are a woman. I said, but of course I'm a woman. And then she said that you have to be, you have to, you know, use what you get in order to, to be able to tie in them so that when you go, you will never forget about you. I still, I said, I still don't understand. And then she, 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 she brought it up. So since he's leaving, at least probably you can sleep with him. And then you have a child for him. <laughs> so when he leaves, he will not forget you. A man that wants to forget you needs, with or without a trace, he forgets you. <laughs> the human man, that's what the Bible says, you don't know the heart of me. What about those? So I asked, I said, what about those that have child or children of people that are in a state? They are there. They're not even thinking of them. You know, we become so foolish. We use these things, things that will hurt us, thinking that we want to trap the person. And the worst part is it, the women suffer most because you take the responsibility, not the men. The men will become the pregnancy. You go with it for nine months. The bad feelings, the vomiting and everything, going to the hospital, taking the pills, taking the medication, whatever. You go through it while he's there roaming around. If it comes out and then he tells you, okay, let, let us go. Let us do what? Abortion, right? And then he says, yes. You go for an abortion. What happens? Is it a man that's going to feel the pain? No, it's you. If you lost your life, then isn't he? He's not going to die. He move on. And besides, probably he might even repent. Okay, why he have led you to hell or in the name of you trying to prove you love him. You don't have to change yourself for someone to love you. You don't have to make yourself so cheap. I'm not trying to condemn or trying to judge anyone. Okay, I don't want you feeling or oh, somehow a lot of people say even she because even people come out, even she, she's talking, she's not even a virgin and even then and blah 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 because a lot of people still don't believe. Have you come out when pastor say, Oh, don't do this, and even the pastor doing it, and then he say, Don't do it and stuff like that. What am I saying is that it's about time we made up our mind. It's about time we serve God. 
The Bible says what? Our body is a temple of God. He said, whoever what? Destroys the temple of God. God destroys him. Because what? The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God do it. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 2, after God created man, it said, and God breathed into him, his spirit into man. And man became a living soul. That's why man, the soul, is what was after God. That's why man is made in the image and likeness of God. Because of the Spirit of God. That's why in the book of Genesis chapter 6, when after the people were on the face of the earth and then wickedness started to exceed to the highest level, people were doing all manner of things. What did God say? He said, well, my spirit will no longer strive with me. Because we were grieving the Holy Spirit. We were out there. God speaks so strongly. That's why a lot of people say, oh, oh. A lot of people, you don't talk about lying. You don't talk about stealing. You don't talk about, you know, uh, uh, gossip. You don't talk about betrayal, backbiting. Everything is in the Bible. But the reason why, most time, all of those things, even sexual immorality is highly stressed on, on the Bible. God plays high level of emphasis on it. Because God wants us to know the essence of which we should have it when we are married and not when we are not married. A lot of us today are abusing sex. In, in, a, in a movie, in a movie war, war Room, not War Room, but God is not dead. And then the man made a mistake, you know, he said something. He was dating this lady, and then the both of them were fine. They were going out until she fell sick. She she had cancer, so she was dying, and she need. That's when you need someone the most. And then he said he can no longer keep up with the relationship. And then she said, "I thought you loved me." This was his response. And then he responded and said, "Well, love is the most overused word." The most overused word, the most overused word in the dictionary that people use to get things from people. When they want something, that's when they use it. When they need something from people, that are people, oh, people betray people under the cover of love. We, 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 we smile with people under the cover of love. That's why the Bible defines what love truly is in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Let us read that quickly. So many of us today that have been misled, all oh, proof to me, a lot of us. Okay. Because I'm reading from the King James Version, it's, it's mentioned charity, but I'm not going to mention charity each time I read story. I'm going to mention love because in the American Standard Version, it's love. And even the, the title of a year is love. It says what? Don't I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, okay? What God is saying here is that we should be able to open our eyes so that people will not deceive us. Oh, prove to me you love me. It is what? Though I speak with the tongues of men, and of angels, and have not love. He said what? I have become what? A sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And the verse 2 says what? And though I have the gifts of prophecy, and understand all mystery and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could work, move mountains and I have not love. He says, what? Well, I am nothing. And then he said, and though I bestow my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not love, it profits me nothing. And then verse 4 says, what? Well, For love suffereth long, love is kind, love envieth not, love what? Vaunted not itself, it's, it's not puffed up. And then verse 5 says, Love does not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, 
we just not in iniquity, but we just in the truth. The Bible says, "What well, love buried all things, believe all things, hope all things, endure all things." The Bible says, "Love never fail." For whether there will be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be thorns, work, they shall fail. Whether there be knowledge, it shall all vanish away. So we just see the entire definition. So don't be carried away because people gave you gifts. You know, there are men that come around or there are women, you know, that act like this is what they do, this is what they do, and actually that's not who they are. You know, a lot of people pretend nowadays. So you don't even know. Fake has become so so hard that you don't even know what is trending. You don't even know what is real, I mean. So that's why we need the Bible. So the Bible says well, we should uh, believe what the love of God says. So you bringing yourself down, taking up your standards and principles just because you want to prove to someone you love and they won't appreciate that. I'm telling you. You're not the first woman that they have come up. Course that allowed the first one proved to them they loved them, they left them. If truly they were looking for love, the first person they ever slept with, they would have stayed with the person. They left the person. They've come to the next person. Another person proved to them what they loved them. Imagine if you trying to your body is not is 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 it's not a testing to both men and women, okay. So now quickly, let us see. Can condom protect 100%? Because there are a lot of people, oh, yes, in order for you to avoid all of those things, you have to work. Get your condom. Now in this, they have so, oh, God. So, <laughs> the thing, it, it's so trending to the extent that even on television here in Ghana, right, there is no, Almost every station they have those herbalists, and the most thing they 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 advertise, right? I don't know. If that's the only herb they have is what penis enlargement because of how level of sexual immorality that is what that is ruling the world today. You go on TV, there is nothing else. That's the only thing. So it came up to people were like joking. Okay, this coronavirus, there is no help for coronavirus. But everything is about sexual immorality. To promote what? Sexual immorality. Can't you see that the devil is doing everything possible? The Bible says the way that leads to heaven is very narrow. But the way that leads to hell is very broad. Because you have every support. It said, let's get straight. That condom does not. This is not from the Bible. It's from the word. Does not 100% protect you from getting STR or becoming pregnant. Or, or other words, sexual diseases. Okay. Is it because condoms break or it can slip off but easily. So the possibility of you not contacting sexual transmitted Disease isn't fully guaranteed because what it's and again okay we 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 have to be bold right we have to be bold we have to be broad we have to say it what as what as it is so that we can be able to understand condom is made out of latex and there are people that are alleged okay alleged to work to such such rubber or so or whatever. And one of the things is that if we are using word the condom, it's only word because there are other skin diseases, you know, within, okay, especially for them. There are other things that we contact. And then the the, the condom it's it's only used what for a particular area, right? And then it's just only what that place and not the entire areas that work. That it, it it gets hold of, so it's it's only what, and then it have it. So imagine the remaining parts of it might get contacted. 
of such what diseases. Hope I'm making sense. That's one. Two, it breaks. And once it breaks and the person is still in motion, what happens? Whatever they what they they they, they gave it to you. Three, it's what it slips off. Okay, it slips off. It slips off. So the moment it, it leaves, so tell me now, what's the guarantee there that it's actually going to protect you? It's not going to protect you. It's never, it's not fully. And you know that because they have different, different brand, okay, of condoms. Because a lot of people, you know, I've seen on televisions, on bearables, you know, people have like gold, you see, probably I think gold, sad, a series of, you know, stuff. And all of those things, you know, are made of different, different, and all of those people, they are, you know, marketing work. They are, they are, they are brand. So they're going to tell you this is more higher. It's, 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 it's a more quality than, than the other one. And then you go after it. Trying to get hold of that other one. And you found that it's, it's, it's just the same. So it's, 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 not, it's not 100% well protected. So why would you risk your life? It's almost like they are telling you a summer cost are reliable to die on. Okay? Summer cost are reliable to die on. So in other words, that if you smoke, you shorten your life. So it's the same thing. So don't depend, oh, yes, it may me and the person I'm married, we will use condom and stuff like that. It still doesn't guarantee. You don't know how many people that person have slept with. You don't know what they carry. Let's we let let's put away the spiritual side to to to, to talk about how many souls that they have tied to them, how many spirit they have. That's why there are people that you sleep with. What happens to you? You become exactly like them. Those that are out there, people that, you know, that likes drinking, okay? People that, you know, got about womanizing. There are people who were never like that before. But because they have some level of intercourse with someone along the way, some, you know, and that person never had what, a good spirit. So what happened? They contact the person spirit true well, that's what said should be done in marriage because that's when because both of you are doing it in purity in righteousness and whatever that is not of god god because the like what we're saying is doing the work unto what thanksgiving so god himself will remove it okay and before you even get married once you have picked the person and then you both of you pray and both of you are believers even if that person used to do whatever in the past, because everybody has a path. No one's going to say, oh, that life is 100%, you know, perfect. No, everyone has a path. The bishop, the priest, everyone has a past. So along the way, they might have had some horrible past that they sleep around. So such person, once both of you come in together, if that person has repented, and then God delivers them what, from so tough. Going out now, they are bringing what family planning, different different kinds of what medicine to protect you from not getting pregnant or contacting. All of those things they have side effects. They give you growth. There are so many sicknesses you contact. That I've seen a lot of people sometimes when they take it, they won't they won't they won't see their 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 menses for for a couple of 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 of, of months some will even bleed through out they will have to go to the hospital why we use this choice just because of some level of five minutes or i don't really can tell for some you know pleasure that's what the bible said moses chose to suffer with the children of Israel to, to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season because it doesn't last it won't last it will never last Okay, it will never last. So we have to be very, very careful. Sometimes we say those things not because we want to mock or try to prove ourselves to be the innocent one or with this, with that. No, but because every one of us, God has opened our eyes to the truth. And we don't want you what, still being there. There is always what a, a, what, a second chance with God. So make up your mind because all of those things, 
There are some sicknesses and diseases that you have contact for the fact that God protected you. Something the Bible says, well, in the book of Romans chapter 2, verse 4, he says, the kindness of God or the goodness of God leads you to repentance. So for the fact that you have been prospering in that act, having fine time with no sickness, with no diseases or everything, doesn't make you the best, you know, whatever. But God was using that or God is using that to bring you closer to him. So that you can see the kindness of God that you are wasting your life and you are wasting your destiny and you are wasting your family. 